welcome back to my channel today i will be sharing a recipe for fried pork chops this is going to be super quick and simple like it's not complicated at all i'm using just two ingredients i already washed my pork chop and here i have weber's honey and garlic rub this is what i'll be using on the pork chop and some black pepper that's it so basically we'll start seasoning the pork chop with our honey garlic rub and the black pepper you want to be nice and generous with it because this is low in sodium so it's not super salty so you can add as much as you like and you can also use whatever seasoning you like on the pork chop it doesn't have to be this one i'm using i just wanted to show you guys that sometimes you know less is best and we don't always have to be extra with stuff in order for it to taste good so once we finish seasoning these we'll let it rest for about one hour then i'll show you guys the next step now let's get the flour ready for the pork chop here i'll be using some all-purpose flour and some cornstarch to that i will add the same seasoning i use for the pork chop and i will add some black pepper that's it we're not going to dip it in eggs milk any of that stuff we're keeping it super simple today it's a very simple recipe that i enjoy now i've made a lot of pork chop recipes and i find that i like it when it's super simple i don't like that thick breading on the pork chop and when you bite in into the pork chop it's falling off and all that stuff i prefer this simple method so i decided to share it with you guys today next we'll generously coat the pork chop in that flour mixture that's it guys it's super simple anyone can make this we will coat them and we'll set them aside and allow them to rest for about 10 to 15 minutes before we start frying while they're resting we can get the oil ready So here in my preheated oil, I have this set to about 325 degrees and I'll place my pork chop in here. I will add the two small ones first and I'll let them fry for about, let's say, eight minutes. You don't want to overcook your pork chop because they will be tough and dry on the inside and we don't want that. After about eight minutes, I will now remove my pork chop and I will fry the last one. Look at that pork chop, how perfect it looks. And it's so tasty and flavorful. And here you have it, guys. The super simple and easy fried pork chop. And I did pair it up with some Southern style fried cabbage. It was so delicious. My entire family enjoyed it. And I hope you guys give the recipe a try. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a thumbs up. Share it, leave a comment down below. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button for me. I will be leaving all the ingredients and measurements down in the description box. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Have a good day and enjoy.